Cowabunga, dude. Ready? Hey everybody, it's the Thrift Store Chic coming to you live and so well from Long Beach, California. And this is our show. In each new episode, we're going to be taking you to thrift stores, vintage stores, consignment stores, so many, many stores. And we're going to be looking at great clothes, books, toys, digging for some of that thrift store treasure, and best of all, talking to some great people. But that's not all. We're also going to be spotlighting what we like to call thrift life, a way to save you money and get you out on the town and having some fun, even if you're a little strapped for cash. And the thrift store chic, he loves the thrift life. And I want to share what I find with you, and along the way, maybe pick up a trick or two for myself. So who's with me? Is it you? It's you. Come on, let's go. Today we're at Long Beach Vintage Etc. 737 Pine Avenue in downtown Long Beach. We're here with store owner Elizabeth Kobliha and store manager Apollo, the cat. Talking about what Vintage Etc. is all about and how it operates. For the most part, we have between 30 and 40 dealers, we call them, here selling. And what they have done is they have, they're like-minded individuals, so they, they take a pride in what they have. And so they have rented their own little area from me. So it's a sort of a sublet uh, cooperative situation inside here. Because this is 5,000 square feet. So big it's space. a big space. So yeah, so we have about, like I said, between 30 and 40 dealers at any, any given time who have set up their own little mini shop within the shop. And they sell what they sell. Some of them specifically sell what we call like antiques or, um, you know, rustic gold, you know, vintage, you know, just um, some of them have a specialty. Some of them just sell whatever, whatever. that, you know, um, <laughs> whatever, they, whatever find. they find. Right. So they come in, they set up their little booths the way they like it. They do their own little marketing and they do their own merchandising of their shop. And then I sell it for them. So I'm here all the time for the most part. And we talk about records. It's been great because in the last couple months we've gotten a new uh, record store right on the corner. <laughs> new records because we have vintage vinyl here, which is <laughs> yeah, awesome. You know, if you're looking that. for some vintage, you know, Kinks, Rolling Stone, Beatles, uh, Supremes, and we have a listening station so you can listen to the old vinyl to make sure that's what you want or it's mm -hmm. you know sounds okay. But we have a great selection of vintage vinyl. And we also talked to vendor and upcycling artist extraordinaire Michelle Gertis about her experiences at Vintage Etc. and some of her interesting pieces. Yeah, it was actually a, an end table, but it was a Kirby, which means I found it right on the curb, right. down the street. We love My those. own street <laughs> and Kirby's, I yeah. I and then repainted it, and we put an electric meter on the bottom of it, and then we ran a conduit up the top, put a, an old-fashioned Edison light bulb on it with a little bread pan. Oh, wow. yeah, so, uh, and uh, a little uh, toggle switch on the actual top of the table. So you flip the toggle uh -huh. switch and the light bulb would come on and the electric meter would run. Uh -huh. It was really cool. Very cool. It was very cool. It was awesome. And you know, we didn't, I thought, you know, it's going to sit here for a while because it was, she put, they put a lot of work into yeah. it. It was super unique and it was priced accordingly. It was, it was one of the, the, the higher, the, you know, higher end products in here. It didn't last that long. It sold it a week. It sold oh, wow. practically immediately it's to an house. artist yeah. who yeah. lives in the Masonic Lofts. So luckily it's staying local. Susan King, she's an adult education teacher. She shares this space with her student, Paul R. Devon. He is the artist of the majority of the work here. He paints them, he prices them, he calls all the shots where that is concerned. And she has a couple of, uh, I think the these top pieces are hers, everything else are, are his. It's just fantastic to see that set up. I mean, you can come in here and you can get blown away by all the, all the glassware and uh, the vintage clothes, which are all fantastic, but it's really great to come around a corner and see this. This is a testament to somebody really caring about who she is, her job, and the effect that she could have on her students in a very uh, positive way. Over here, on top of this, a great store. It's got a, this, the building, the storefront has a great history. At one time, way back in, I believe in the 20s, this was a bank and they still have the vault. And you see they're using it as a, a little uh, vendor stall now, uh, some lanterns back there, license plates, some uh, great outdoorsy, old timey stuff like that. 
But here's the door, still intact. It does, apparently it doesn't lock. I was assured that the door doesn't lock anymore. But I would still hate to be on the other side of that door when it slams shut. Regardless. I just turned the corner and just about died. Look at this. This is a bartender's heaven. Now, before the Sheik was the Sheik, he bartended for many years. And when I, when I see something like this, I just about lose it. Look at that. Imagine mixing up a couple of cocktails. Odd on Manhattan, please. Oh, make me a Bloody Mary. Looking like a dirty martini. Just look at, look at that. Oh, it's so fancy. This is why I love coming to places like this. I might not be going home with this today, but man, just sitting back and looking at it, touching it, makes me happy all the same. Thrift life, baby. Thrift life. What? What's that? You mean the show's over? Already? Okay, love you. Well, that's about time for the first show, the first thrift store chic show. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. We had a lot of fun, and I'm hoping that uh, we're gonna have a whole lot more of that in the future. Just remember, thrift life, baby. It's all about the thrift life. Back to the hotel. Oh, come on, let's have a little fun for a change. I think so. Pick it up? Maybe pick it up just a little bit. Okay. I just want a little more high energy.